I had really been tuning into this vibration of rose quartz and love, relaxation, and calm. Hmm? So whether you're feeling the bright illumination of this full moon, and it might just be a little too illuminated and fiery for you, and that's okay. We're going to just cool you down and calm you and relax you. <sighs> Inviting you to just get comfy in the place and space that you are. And I wanted to bring in this vibration of calming amethyst. This is so beautiful, this amethyst quartz point. <laughs> Just the calming amethyst Pisces, the calm Pisces, calming the emotions, even the psychic center and your psychic knowing. So this amethyst, it might be small, but it's incredibly powerful quartz with this purple vibration. So I wanted to start with just tuning into the psychic center and the pineal gland or pineal gland with this calming amethyst vibration purple. And we're gonna be tuning into this vibration again with some aura glow. Oh, my air conditioning is coming on to just cool us off. So if you're feeling oh, a little triggered <laughs> by the illumination of the full moon, that's okay. We're just gonna allow this white noise of the air conditioning and the cool flow of the air in and out as you breathe to just calm and just smooth out anything that might be fiery. <laughs> Some of us feel like we just came out of this transformation period, kind of like a forest fire. The invitation from this gorgeous Virgo Pisces full moon energy right now that we're in is this invitation of bliss and relaxation into the wanted. so many tingly crystals and high vibes for you <sighs> and I wanted to start off with this mm -hmm. this vibration of protection ultimate protection love this Kate's magic oh let me turn it around for you oh no it is for me this magic banditos and those of you that know about thieves essential oil it's just like thieves but with some white sage in it it is so amazing pungent and protective Kate's magic defense banditos and so I have this rollerball and then 
I also created a spray for you. I love spray so much and I love this vibration so much that I created the spray for you. So we're going to use the roller and the spray to create this auric field, this energy field around you of protection. <sighs> Welcome, Ryan. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome, Ryan. I love it when you join me live because the energy is magnified. However, I'm going to upload this later to YouTube. So if you're watching this later, it's still a timeless session and I'd love to hear from you in the comments even later. So everybody here in the chat on Twitch, welcome, welcome, welcome into this full moon energy. many of you, you're in our Lucid Live Vibes Discord community. Whether you've been around the past few months or you're just new to the community, or maybe you haven't even joined yet, the awakening has been amazing in this full moon energy and I feel like I'm hovering and so it's a reminder to me to remind you through this message that as you continue to awaken to yourself and follow the good feelings and what resonates with you and by entrancing upon what resonates for you the unfolding and the knowing is everywhere and you realize that you're in the now moment of all of it, the happening now. And so for me, it's interesting because I tuned into being a bridge, the rainbow bridge. And so I bridge knowing, I bridge history, I bridge truth, I'm the bridge. And right now I am <laughs> in the full illumination of being the rainbow bridge and it feels amazing, and the knowing is streaming. So relaxing into who you are. It's the gateway to the grand invitation of the knowing of who you are, the remembering, the tasty remembering. And this full moon is the harvest moon. So imagine the bounty of the harvest of you. The knowing of you, the bounty and harvest of the knowing of the illuminated you. So let's just shake this magically protective spray and vibration from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. And I want to go around down your back, protecting your back. So we're going to do three sprays, mind, body, spirit, the mental, emotional, physical, the past, present, future, all those layers of you, protecting all those layers of you. It smells so good. Some 
of you might be smelling cinnamon and eucalyptus and white sage. Awakening your senses. <laughs> Christine, I'm so glad you're here, Christine. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. So if you're just now joining, I'm going to have this as a replay for you here on Twitch when I'm finished, and then I'm going to upload it to YouTube. And I'm hoping that we'll do an instant premiere of this tonight on YouTube while I'm actually live on TikTok. So I will be live on TikTok tonight for all of you. Mm -hmm. And if you're watching this later on YouTube, it's a timeless transmission, and I welcome you to Twitch and TikTok. <laughs> okay, so now I wanted to really touch into the rolling, <laughs> allowing the protection to roll, roll in and around you. Just simply relaxing, relaxing into you, this theta wave, a state of mind where you can just relax and let go. Allowing the vibration of this powerful, powerful protection to just soak in all those layers of you and your sight and insight. <sighs> Opening, softening, and allowing to this protection. Twitch, and Twitch has been this magical opportunity to go live with an amazing connection, and I can use all of my high quality, my GoPro and my microphone, and just really create this live energy experience for all of you together, and it's really uh, a lot of the content I used to make on YouTube, and now I'm just doing it live. And then I also do chats here on TikTok, I mean on Twitch. And then so I'm hoping to podcast and do topical chats with all of you here on Twitch. And then I put all of this Twitch content for you on YouTube for later as just like a library and you can rewatch it. So here on Twitch, after I go live, it, there's a replay for two weeks. And then again, I put the majority. There's some stuff that I've done on Twitch that I have not put on YouTube, but most of it I do. So I'm very new to Twitch as well, but I love it. I love this connection and the high quality. And I love that Twitch and Discord go hand in hand. And I really think it's the future. Outside of the algorithms of TikTok and YouTube and social media, we can connect here with this wanted vibration in real time, streaming in real time. And TikTok's connection <laughs> is hit or miss. And this connection is amazing. And even when there's a timeout here on Twitch, it picks right back up. And so I come right back. It's really amazing. And I love the vibration here of the chat on Twitch. It's been really a positive experience. So I'm really integrating all of the energy and creativity across all the platforms, Twitch, TikTok, and YouTube. So I'm just glad that you're here no matter where you're connecting with me. I'm just glad that we're connecting. And it is my intention to just continue to open the streaming connectivity 
and portals with all of you as I am the bridge and I want to bridge us together as the web of light and I know that relaxation is the gateway to the essence of you and it's how I really tuned into myself so I really just want to go on the top of the head here just a little bit of protection on the top of your head that you think my voice is so calming um, I can get really double fiery and get excited and so whew, it's by intention that I'm tuning in and tapping into this calm vibration whew, and it feels good for me too when we calm and we just relax, we're relaxing into the essence of who we are. And that feels good. I actually, on my original YouTube channel, <laughs> and something really crazy happened today in this illuminated full moon for me on my original YouTube channel. <laughs> and it was such a full moon occurrence for me the contrast and the duality and so <laughs> I just had such a reminder of my journey and even creating this content for you guys when I first started on my original channel I was just experimenting as a playground and I really didn't know I was the rainbow bridge I mean I knew I was the rainbow bridge and a keeper of light but I didn't know it know it and I didn't know what that was and what that felt like and now I see it so clearly <laughs> but before I didn't and so my original YouTube channel I actually took half of the videos down they're not even there anymore but I left some of them up and it's kind of like a library and so some of the content that I created I was learning about myself it was a self-discovery as I was creating it. And some of it I realized it wasn't even me at all. So I did do Reiki and Qigong and other things, even some yoga-based meditations and breathing, and I love it all. However, I realized that my truest vibration was even higher. <laughs> And what the rainbow bridge is and so that's when around last year at this time i created lucid life vibes because i raised my vibration for my first youtube channel and so it's been a really amazing journey this past year tuning in and tapping into this higher vibration of even myself and the content that i create and so it's really interesting the response <laughs> that comes through that first channel compared to what I attract now <laughs> and it's a great experiment for me to see the vibration and so even the stuff that's unwanted and low vibe and down here it's just a message and reminder to me so I welcome it all I welcome it all but it is so much fun to be on this side and have such knowing and because I have such knowing, it brings so much peace to all of you. And so you can really step into your knowing. And I love that for all of us. I love that. And so, yeah, it's through the calm and the relaxation. <laughs> hmm. And tuning into all those vibrations of you. Because a lot of you on TikTok see me so up here all the time. And there is a calm, meditative, peace layer of me <laughs> that streams as well <sighs> so Christine is asking me Christine um, in the chat is asking me about some messages we have going on in our discord community 
And it's interesting, Christine, because I've been feeling through these for you. And I believe when I do go live on TikTok tonight, which I am, we're going to have some information streaming through not only for you, but for so many other in this illuminated full moon. So Christine, it's interesting that the two cards that really resonated with you were the two cards that didn't resonate with me. <laughs> and I think there's a message in there and I'm excited to share that with you. So yes, we will discuss messages from our higher self and the universe and our discord community on TikTok live. It's all good, Christine. It's all good. All the messages all the time are good, okay? It's all good all the time. You're going to love this illumination. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> okay. So here's what I want to do next. Now that we have this protection, I have these two lava rocks. These are lava rocks hot stones from hot springs arkansas and our hands are so powerful and they're healing and they carry so much energy energy so here's what i wanted to do i wanted to place these in your hand one in each hand that duality of you, both sides of you, that balance of you, the in and out flow of you. <laughs> My dog is stretching. Maybe that's a message for some of you to stretch and breathe and move. Maybe it's an invitation for a full moon walk. <laughs> so these hot, hot stones to adsorb, to adsorb any heat or unwantedness, allowing the rocks, the hot stones, the lava rocks from the volcanoes here on planet Earth, this beautiful earth and lava vibration. Whatever feels out of balance, maybe injustice, hot, heavy, unwanted, the in and out flow, allowing the lava rocks to just take it away, take the heat away from you. So they're not hot, they're cool. <laughs> They've been in here with us in this cool, calm, air-conditioned room, so they're not hot at all. And we're going to place these in your hand. And here comes the air conditioning. Here comes the white noise and the air conditioning for everybody. So these are not hot. They're going to adsorb the unwanted heat for you. So we're just going to place these in your hands now. So Christine, I had a feeling <laughs> the message for you is going to be in that Michael card, and I'm really excited, so I'm glad that it already resonates for you. <laughs> You're picking up on it already. You're already on the trail. Tuning into this love vibration of the rose quartz, and you already have two in the portal, and so we have these little tiny ones in this jar, and the amethyst. So we have our amethyst point in the portal with our two rose quartz, and now we have this little tiny amethyst.
it's an invitation to open, soften, and allow the love in. All the little, 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 little love notes from the universe, from your higher self. So I wanted to use them to shake, <laughs> like little shakers. Shaking out the unwanted and replacing it with the love and the calm. Hello, hello, welcome everybody, welcome. Maybe it's like an SOS. Maybe it's like an SOS. These love notes, these love messages streaming in. Do you hear it? Okay, so these are in the portal with you. You feel so much lighter and higher, just relaxing into this ease and flow that's your natural state of being. Florida water and so I just thought that if things were still a little fiery with the illuminated full moon this Florida water would just really cool it and maybe maybe there's some still this unwanted in this purifying the unwanted and letting it go with the water and the air. the gold it reminds me that you are gold you have a gold body you're gold you're golden have you ever tuned in to the gold body you your gold body that is the ultimate protection, is that gold body. It makes me think of Archangel Metatron and the gold. I feel Archangel Metatron and a gold orb all the time, almost like moving, living lace. Your light body, your rainbow light body, your gold body. <laughs> Do you tune in to all those layers of you? take this down your back as well to just soothe all that the heavy weight you've been carrying from others or the unwanted 
and just cleansing and clearing all that is not even from you all that psychic empath that you've just carry the weight of the world and others on so just releasing that allowing this beautiful earth air water virgo energy and pisces full moon energy to just wash over you with the florida water and just cleanse and clear the unwanted and the heaviness down your back wanted to tune into the contrast of this pyrite on the matrix and that gold that you are through the pyrite and the abundance and then I have a message for you from the moon this is going to be beautiful so if you're here right now there's a beautiful message from the moon coming through for you and it's holding the vibration of abundance, prosperity, riches, money flow, shifting the vibration to this higher, lighter vibration, and even tuning into that from Atlantis, where the ancient wisdom from our future. <laughs> Isn't that interesting that Atlantis is both our past and our future <laughs> at the same time? so gorgeous so just tuning in to the gold you the golden opportunities This is pyrite on the matrix. There's about four different minerals with the pyrite, and the pyrite is gold. And my friend Lou, who is soul family that I met in Arkansas when we were digging for crystals, he actually mined this pyrite with about four different minerals on the matrix. It's actually really delicate, this back part. <laughs> If I tap on it, it might start disintegrating a little bit, but it's really special to me, and it just feels so powerful, and many of us are shifting money energy, <laughs> and you can just feel the shifting occur, and the flow of money, and even in the flow of what abundance really feels like. <laughs> Inviting you to just tune into this new vibration of abundance and money flow. Opening up to the richness that you are, the golden, the gold that you are. <laughs> I don't know what it is about tapping on this. It just feels good. I feel like I'm tapping into a higher vibration. I don't even know what it is. And I'm super excited to listen to this with headphones and see if I hear something or know something through the tapping.
And for those of you that are like me and love ASMR so much, <laughs> I apologize for my computer. It is making some noise. My son is my IT department. <laughs> He's my technical support. <laughs> and he said that he needs to, he needs to clean up my laptop for me so that it's really quiet again. So I apologize. Or maybe it's creating some white noise for him. I'm going to put this at the base of your spine. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, there. There we go. Perfect. And then this snowflake obsidian that I love so much for the psychic center, we're going to put that at your feet to guide you in a new way, psychically. Okay, so that goes at your feet. Okay. And I have a message for you. I'm so excited. I rarely... <laughs> Bring cards out on Twitch or on YouTube. So this is going to be a treat. It's the Rainbow Bridge. It's me. The box is me. Isn't that amazing? I knew that this was part of me sharing messages with everyone because it's the rainbow bridge <laughs> it's the rainbow bridge it's a portal and it says trust your intuition So this beautiful box of guidance is bridging the old tarot ways with the new high vibrations. So it uses some of the same words as the tarot as we shift up and out of those vibrations. And so this is a color frequency, the rainbow bridge a mystic version of a higher vibration. And I still don't even use all of them. <laughs> I only use what resonates with me. make me tingly too. I love it so much. But 
do you see how when we can relax into this, we open, soften, and allow? Think of all the ways in the human experience that we just go so fast. And this is an, a relaxing opening, right? Uh -huh. So if you're here right now, you're going to love this so much. This is so beautiful, this message. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pieces of art, nine messages to create this new story for you. have a little reflection on our moon <laughs> from my lights. So this is the moon. So on the moon, a lot of people think that it looks like a mermaid sitting on a crystal or a glacier and some people see mountains and some people see pyramids and some people see water and some people see ice and some people see a full moon and some people see a new moon and I love this so much it is a message in the moon through this feminine image, the feminine vibration of allowing. You allow all the phases of the moon to illuminate, to bring forth new beginnings. And it's really interesting because I've been recently sharing this message about the energy and how fast moving it is. So things that used to take us a year, 365 days, we can accomplish in one month, even, even less in 28 days. The moon cycle is 28 days. And I know in my one-on-one -on -one coaching, it's a 30-day program. What people accomplish in 28 days is mind-blowing. <laughs> Those that talk about habits in the human experience talk about new habits in 30 days. So what your intentions can do in the moon, in the moon cycle in 28 days. And I've been sharing the message of instead of thinking about the new year in January 1st, think about the first of every month, celebrating the first of every month as a new year and what can happen in a month. So this new moon, I mean, this illuminated moon is an invitation into this new moon cycle. So whether it's full moon to full moon or new moon to moon, new moon, tapping into this fast moving energy. And sometimes it's an invitation to dive deep into the dark, the unwanted, the contrast to know the wanted. And the moon is bringing forth this wholeness, this emotional full cup in this earth realm. You see on the earth, in this planet, in the here and now, the embodiment, the tangible of all of it, the well-being, the wellness, the abundance, all of it. That includes the money flow, that includes the love and the relationships, all of it. And you allow your cup to overflow. <laughs> and when your cup overflows and you tune into the starlight that you are, <laughs> illuminating you and your life 
remembering who you are, the wanted. And maybe for some of you, star seeds, right? Your starlight. than being the powerful magician of your life, the creator of your life. Look at that. It's a feminine depiction because you allow yourself to be the creator of your life. It's so beautiful. Tuning into the magician you. The magician you. Yes, now. Yes, now. Yes, now. Yes, now. So if you're not feeling like the magician and maybe you're feeling more like the hermit being drowned out or alone or isolated, this illuminated full moon is the invitation to become the powerful magician. How do you do that? Through shattering the illusion. Shattering the illusion. Painting and creating the wanted life. What is creation energy? It's flowing creativity. Are you painting the wanted life? Look, it's a rainbow bridge. She's painting a rainbow bridge. Isn't that beautiful? It's the feminine depiction because you allow yourself to be creative. You don't make yourself be creative. You allow your creativity to flow. It's the rainbow bridge. <laughs> Maybe you're a bridge. Maybe you're a code breaker. Maybe you're an open channel like me. Whatever you are, taking back your power. That's right. Taking back the pure power of you through the having it all. All of it. Taking hold. <laughs> who you are, all the layers of you, the breakthrough, the wanted, yes, it's freedom through surrender, it's freedom through surrender, <laughs> I knew you guys were going to love this, I'm so glad you're here, can you believe that you're here live? You guys are the first ones receiving this message live right now. You're receiving this information, streaming information. This is your vibration right now. Look at the full cup. The allowing yourself, allowing the starlight, allowing the crystals, allowing all of it in. How gorgeous. You guys, this is the vibration of our now. This is the vibration of the moonlight. <laughs> allowing it so confident and being loved and everything flowing to you, your wellness your well-being your abundance the money the relationships all of it you are whole and complete you have been enough from the beginning you're your greatest manifestation Whew, it feels good to be you yeah it does <laughs> bam let's go 007 Look at you. You're in the moonlight. You are the moonlight. Everything. Do you see? This is the masculine feminine. Flow of you. The in and out flow of you. It's now. just wanted to slow it down, really slow it down. 
and invite you to just breathe into those messages and that energy that's right now and right here for you. And I'm going to create this super relaxing sounds for you. The sweetness of the wanted life. This is organic, sweet candy. And that's you. You are organic, sweet, delicious candy. And imagine all the wrappers and all the layers of discovery and healing and unfolding that you're experiencing right now. So as the unfolding and the healing occurs for you, feeling through the tastiness of you, the sweetness of you as candy and the unfolding and the unfolding of remembering of who you are letting the unwanted go again bees don't waste their time explaining to flies why honey tastes better than shit and I don't like to define things for you but let me define what a fly is a fly is someone that is unaware of who they are and they're really distracting and really annoying and really bothersome, right? And they flock to the unwanted, stinky shit in droves. And that's not you. You're a sweet honeybee attracted to the sweet hives of life. <laughs> and so as we awake to who we are, remembering who we are and the sweetness of that, we become these sweet honeybees and we're vibrating with our flight and our wings and everything in us as sweet honeybees to the vibration that feels good to us, our hives. <laughs> and so it's a delicious time of awakening. And so as you awaken, know that you're shifting up and out of the shit <laughs> and the flies and those that are not awake to who they are. And when you become a sturdy, strong honeybee, or maybe a queen bee, the flies won't even be there anymore, and they won't be so bothersome. I'm laughing too. <laughs> I was really thinking about the whole honey, honey and hive and the bees and how I talk about this all the time, <laughs> especially in our discord community. And I was thinking who the flies are and they're the people that are unaware of how sweet they are. My animals, it, they are amazing. My cat was so much part of the messages yesterday. <laughs> and my dog. He seems to match our relaxing vibration. And they don't want to leave the room. That's the thing, is that I have other humans that will babysit the animals when I do these videos, and they don't want to leave. They will try to get in the room. The last time I walked my cat out when I did a video for you, he was banging on the door, like body slamming himself on the door. I don't close doors. I don't like uh, closed doors or cages or anything like that. And so I actually don't close my door so that the animals can get in and out. And so they're just not used to that. Which is interesting because a lot of humans when I close my energy off from other humans, they feel that and they feel like I've closed the door on them. And so that's a thing, as you raise your vibration and you shift up and out of relationships and old patterns, 
other people are going to feel like you are walking away from them because they feel your vibrational shift. Yes, the cat vibration right now is amazing. And it's interesting in the chat, Christine, that you're bringing up two cats because that reminds me about the two truths. And I think that that is the Metatron in the Shamyel card for you. It's a two truths. It's the message in the cat goddess from Egypt. And it's interesting because Ryan is also in the chat and Ryan named his cat after the cat goddess. And we talked about this in the healing vibrations room on our discord. So Christine, I think the message for you is the two truths from the cat goddess when it comes to Metatron and Shamya and those cards. And that was a message that was already streaming for you. And it brought you to Michael. And now you're talking about your two cats. So the message is for sure <laughs> in the cat goddess. I can't remember the name of the cat goddess off the top of my head. But the cat goddess is about the two truths and sits in the hall of two truths and judges the souls. And so, Christine, that's the message for sure. <laughs> How cool is that? I'm thinking about the message to deliver you later on TikTok, and it's coming through right now. There it is. There's the name of the goddess in the chat. And it's weird because it's a cat goddess, but it's a male cat goddess. So you would think it would be a god instead of a goddess. <laughs> you are here and you don't know anything about TikTok or this Twitch chat conversation, <laughs> maybe you're listening on YouTube later. Uh, I deliver messages over on TikTok a lot and I do personal energy readings. And so over in our Discord community on, in TikTok, we've just, a lot is streaming right now. So it's an invitation to join me on TikTok. And I understand if you're not on TikTok. I understand that. <laughs> I'm not on Facebook or Instagram, so. I wanted to bring in this delicate UV light to just shine ever so delicately and gently into all of those nooks and crannies and just allow the light to illuminate for you and whatever surfacing that's unwanted just giving it back to the universe or maybe just allowing the light to take it away for you. So I just want to start at the top of your head for illumination for what is perfect and right for you in this now moment the ease and the comfort of remembering and the perfect time for you. moving down to the heart space now I really want to illuminate the desires of your heart tuning in to the wanted desires what resonates for you 
your vibration, your frequency. Shining the light, the eyes, behind the eyes, the clarity, the insight. I have this gorgeous lavender with amethyst, so bringing our amethyst back into play here. It has tiny little amethyst along with the lavender, and we're just going to do this aura glow, this energetic with my healing hands and this aura glow and the vibration. So inviting you to just continue the comfort. Oh. And if anything's coming up for you, just letting it go. air conditioning popping on for you, just feeling the coolness, this just this relaxing coolness. Bringing in this selenite, and did you know that the moon, the goddess Selena, is what selenite's name, named after, and this goddess doesn't embody the moon, she is the moon. <laughs> so selenite was named after this moon goddess. So 
I broke open a selenite tower and this was in the middle of it. And it's got these little clear quartz selenite points. I don't know, I mean, they're clear quartz, but it's selenite. It's so interesting. It's so powerful. This selenite holds not only this moon vibration, but it also holds Arcturian vibration for me. I don't know why, I just feel it. It's just so powerful and pure and light and I just feel it. I'm gonna head over to TikTok as soon as I'm finished. I'm gonna take a short little break and set up for the TikTok. So, and I'm gonna upload this video to YouTube and then I'll head over, so in just a little bit. Bringing this energy and frequency to my hands create this orb of intention for you before we go. Just right into your heart space. to thank you so much for being here and I wanted to thank you for no matter when you're connecting or here thank you for being here and I want to thank you for being here for yourself as you're feeling through all those layers of you and I want to thank you for following and subscribing and for hitting the like button <laughs> if there's a like button <laughs> I appreciate all your love and your support and to those of you that don't like it when creators or ASMR artists invite you to follow and subscribe and to like, I don't really care. <laughs> so for those of you that are bashing others and their vibration, I have a message and that message is you're not bashing me and you're not bashing others, you're just bashing yourself. So for those that <laughs> don't appreciate my appreciation for the connection, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. So I just want to put out the vibrations for people that lash out through bashing of others and that tend to hit a dislike button or to share their dislike to allow the illumination of this full moon to be the transformation for you that you no longer bash yourself because those of you that bash others and dislike others you're just disliking and bashing yourself so thank you to those of you that connect and connect to yourself and to others. You're tuning in and tapping into all those magical layers and the tastiness of life. And it feels so good. And sometimes the illuminated moon allows for triggeredness that leads to your expansion. And sometimes the illuminated moon allows for the illumination of calling out what you want and so if you have vibrations in and around you that are bashing you 
it's the invitation to let them go because really they're just bashing themselves <laughs> and it's unwanted for them and you can just simply let the bashing go so I'm just gonna fluff your aura and this transmission was so full of illuminated messages even for myself That's right, that's right. Let the gnashing and the bashing and the flies go. <laughs> I'm feeling it. I'm so feeling it this full moon. And if you need to call out that, which you don't want anymore, call it out. Call it out. Call it out. It is the purest of love that I send to you. It is the highest of light in the most colorful rainbow bridge that I am. I love you so, 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 so much. I love you. I love you. 